Fort Pro, innovating in smart temperature control equipment. Efficient, affordable, and easy to install. Long-lasting and high performance with low energy consumption. Fort Pro is always at the cutting edge. Once we receive the equipment, we begin installing the evaporator unit. We assemble it with the parts from the box and proceed to the installation in the truck's cabin. The evaporator is fixed with screws on the internal part of the cabin on the wall over the bed. Then we continue with the condensing unit. We present the hoses provisionally to assess the correct drilling height in the cabin. The hoses can be fixed to the floor under the bed or directly through the wall to hide the cables, depending on the customer's request. This place is marked and drilled. The hoses are presented through the hole and the cables from the evaporator equipment are connected to the condenser. The hoses are coupled and adjusted with the security plate. The pads or legs are assembled to minimize vibration from the operation of the truck. The screws are then installed to the sides of the unit in the position best suited to the space. Present the unit on the external back of the cabin to position the unit and measure the drilling locations. The unit can then be screwed onto the truck. The hoses coming from inside the truck cabin are then connected to the unit. The hoses are organized and joined with adhesive tape, rolled and fixed with clamps. The safety valves on the equipment are then opened. Then we proceed to vacuum the unit. It is recommended to do this for between 25 to 30 minutes to ensure it is completely empty. The equipment is connected to the vehicle battery. Connect the positive red cable of the unit to the positive terminal on the first truck battery and the negative cable of the unit to the negative terminal of the last truck battery. This way, the discharge sequencing works correctly, consuming from battery to battery to guarantee a minimum of eight hours of air conditioning operation with the truck off. Drill another hole into the cabin to install the drain hose into the evaporator. Then we fill the unit with 550 grams of Freon or gas refrigerant. Ensure to waterproof all of the holes into the cabin to prevent air leakage from the inside and water entry from the outside. The manometers should read between 40 and 50 PSI on the low end and between 150 and 180 PSI on the high end, depending on the time of day or external temperature. The device is then turned on. If the truck is off, it is recommended to operate in eco mode. Having an inverter scroll compressor in conjunction with the discharge algorithm, eco mode will consume 25 ampere hours resulting in 8 to 10 hours of use with the truck shut off without consuming the battery. This is one of the main characteristics that differentiates Exo Air equipment. On cold mode, it consumes between 35 and 40 ampere hours. In maximum cold mode, it will have a consumption of 65 ampere hours and is only recommended for use while the truck is running. Operation settings. Pressing command M once allows us to adjust the fan speed using the plus and minus buttons. Pressing command M a second time allows us to select the desired mode of use, either eco mode to use with the truck off or cold or max cold mode when used with the truck on. By pressing command M a third time, it gives us the possibility to set the cutoff voltage. It is recommended to set it at 11 volts. 
This ensures that when the batteries reach that voltage, the equipment cuts off and the truck can start again. Pressing Command M a fourth time will indicate the temperature the unit is currently operating at. Finally, by pressing Command M once again, the screen indicates the voltage that the truck's batteries have at the moment. After a few seconds, the screen will reset, and we can then program the desired temperature. The equipment can cool all the way down to 60 degrees, but it is recommended to use between 70 and 75 degrees. The equipment will automatically switch on and off to maintain the desired temperature inside the cabin. Fort Pro, always at the cutting edge of technology.